Solar and wind generation are the two fastest sources of energy being deployed worldwide. New energy is going in very, very fast. Solar and wind are displacing nuclear, coal, and gas. However, the two technologies complement each other perfectly. But the idea of putting solar panels on wind turbines is a pretty new one. It's only just been done. But I love this idea. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing. It's great to have all the new subscribers. There's a new Swiss company. Now, we shouldn't be surprised really to think the Swiss are doing this, but this is a Swiss startup. They're mounting solar panels on used wind turbine blades. Why are they doing this though? Well, this startup is reclaiming wind turbine blades instead of metal beams as horizontal supports for solar panels. This is really the ultimate use of recycling, taking old wind turbines that are going to be basically thrown out and reusing them as structural members for solar panels. We now have the ability to recycle solar panels. Almost everything in a solar panel we now recycle. We do it much more efficiently with new technologies, which are far better than what we used to have. Now, I made videos about that too. If you want to check out how we can now recycle everything in a solar panel and why that's being done, in fact, to make hundreds of millions of dollars, I'll put a link in the description below. Solar panels mounted on wind turbine blades is such a great idea. Founded in 2022, Turn to Sun is based in Switzerland and it calls its use of second life wind turbine blades to support solar panels blade to sun. The company says that the strength of the blades enables structures with broad wingspan covering large areas with minimal ground use, thanks to spaced out foundations. This in turn lets you install large PV arrays with reduced impact on the land underneath. Now I should point out I'm not completely buying that because realistically, I mean, especially here in Australia, farmers who use, a lot of farmers put solar panels in their fields and the grass actually seems to grow even better underneath the solar panels than it does outside of the solar panels. And the other big advantage here is that a lot of agricultural land is devoid of really good shelters for the animals that live there. But when you have these solar panels, the animals simply use them as shelter. When it's too hot, they sit under them. And when it's raining, they sit under them. They actually work really perfectly and complement farms perfectly. Anyhow, Turn to Sun and the Federal Department of Armu Swiss partnered up and have carried out a pilot in Grissons in the Swiss Alps. This is at an altitude of 2,500 meters elevation or 8,202 feet. You might be thinking, well, isn't it colder up there? So would the solar panels possibly not work as well? Well, actually heat can be an enemy to solar panels. Once the temperature gets above around about 30 degrees Celsius, generally solar panels don't quite work as well. So the cooler temperatures are actually perfect for getting the most energy out of solar panels that you possibly can. The prototype has around 16 430 watt solar panels attached to 8.4 meter, that's 27.5 foot wind turbine blades. The Alpine pilot confirmed that blade to sun is feasible. It works well, even in extreme conditions, as you can imagine you would get at 2,500 meters elevation. The great thing about using them in this way as well is that even though it does snow in this area, the snow simply slides off because of the way that the solar panels are mounted at a steep axis. So why use the blades? What is the point of this? Does it even work? Well, there are more than 340,000 wind turbines currently installed worldwide. That's a lot of wind turbines. Some of them are getting old and some of them have fallen down because when they were originally built, they weren't built that well. There's been storms and storms have brought them down. I actually have made videos about that too. In Europe, there is 25,000 wind turbines which will reach end of life in the next few years. And rather than throwing them out, well, this company is using them for a purpose. Although it's possible to recycle more than 95% of a wind turbine's components, the blades are still challenging and difficult to recycle. 
Electric says that they're made from composite materials, mostly fiberglass, and as a result, used blades are mainly burned in cement plants or incineration plants, which is obviously terrible for the atmosphere. Wind turbine blades' exceptional resistance properties allow them to cut through the air at over 300 kilometers an hour. That's 186 miles per hour. And as you can see, because of that exceptional resistance, they work really well as mounting points for solar panels. Interestingly, there is also another really good use for the blades of used wind turbines. Several global players are interested in our solution, the company said. We're developing partnerships to be able to offer the solution in other countries, also integrating larger wind turbine blades. So it looks like this could be something you'll see in your country soon as well. I mean, it just makes too much sense. Why take these turbine blades to a cement factory and burn them when you can simply use them to create more energy? I love the idea that you can always repurpose something. It's really one of those things where you get an immense sense of personal satisfaction when you see something being repurposed. But if you're the one that does it, I don't know if you've ever done this before, you see something, you have an item and you find a way to repurpose it to make it really useful, even though you were going to throw it out, you think, hey, hey, no, 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 I can use it for this. And it works really well. That's the kind of feeling that I get from stories and doing that in my personal life, but also from stories like this. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.